What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. My name is Nathan. Today we're going to be looking at the Alpine ILXW650E. This is the latest release um, of Alpine's ILX series. So we'll go and take a look at the unit itself and obviously how it looks and how it works. But you know, we've got Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Flack Audio, uh, seven inch capacitive touchscreen, and they've also uh, built it around a really, really great price. So let's go and jump in and see how it looks. All right, guys, so here we have the Alpine ILX W650E. So as we can see, we have the seven inch capacitive touchscreen display. We've got our soft touch buttons at the bottom. So we've got volume down, volume up, mute, home, voice control, and phone button. Turning the unit over to the side, we can see we have a very short chassis. Uh, this is great for two things. So if you have a car that with a very tight space uh, in the back for fitting, obviously this will fit in that car. BMW E46 is the perfect um, explanation for that. But also Alpine sell the KTA, hang on, I'll just get there. KTA-450 amplifier, which I've just brought it up here on the phone. So basically what this does is it mounts on the back of the unit with these brackets right here. And so basically you'll have unit and amplifier and it will still be shorter than a traditional double DIN unit. Uh, that amplifier will give you 400 watts RMS 100 for each speaker channel. Uh, so that is something that they've sort of innovated. They won an award at CES for that. So you've got unit, amplifier, and then you've got an amazing sound system uh, ready to go. You don't need that amplifier. It's just an add-on. You can buy this and wire it up through the power wires and your speaker wires and it will run the speakers just fine. So looking at the back, we've obviously got our Alpine power harness, USB camera slash pre-outs, steering wheel remote input, microphone input, and universal radio antenna. Within the box, you will get the pre-out plug. So this has your rear view camera and your three pre-outs. So sub, rear speakers, front speakers, as well as a front camera. So we have two camera inputs on this unit. You will get the external microphone. And USB. And so the way that this USB mounts, you can see we've got that right angle just to keep everything nice and shallow. And I would assume when you add that amp on the back of the unit, you wouldn't want to have a USB like that sort of sticking out. You want it to be nice and tight and compact. So that's something we've done as well. All right, so that's about it for the outside and that amplifier. Just uh, jump on Alpine's website, KTA-450, and you can have a look at that power pack and exactly how it mounts onto the unit. Um, but like I said, you don't need that. It's just an add-on. All right, let's boot this thing up. All right, guys, so let's get ready to boot this thing up. Turn on the power supply. So first up, we have the Alpine splash screen. This can be changed. We have a video showing you how to do that. All right, so it doesn't take too long. And then first thing we want is to pick our language. So we'll select English. And then boom, here we are at our home screen. So we've obviously got three different FM tuning capabilities. So you can store six stations here, six here, and six here. You've got one AM, All right, obviously press and hold to scan. It's not gonna pick anything up right now. All right, what's this custom button? I've noticed that. All right, we'll get to that later. We are obviously volume off at the moment. We don't have any speakers connected, but this is what our volume symbol looks like. Mute, home button will bring us to our home screen. Awesome. Voice control, this will work when you've got Bluetooth or 
CarPlay slash Android Auto and same as phone button. All right, so user interface is very different, not like any of the other units. Uh, it doesn't look bad. I would assume you can change all of this sort of stuff as well. Now, one thing they've also introduced on this is the two finger. So, using two fingers, we can go volume up, volume down, anywhere on the screen. All right, I'm too good at it at the moment. My GoPro's in the way. All right, like this. And also track down and track up. So the good thing about that is that you're driving along and you want the volume up. You don't need to sort of take your eyes off the road and focus on this point right here. Uh, and if you don't have steering wheel controls, you know, it, it, even worse, right? So you sort of got to look here to go up and down where now you can just go, I'll, I'll just turn it up a bit. Pretty good. Radio we looked at. USB, so obviously if you've got a USB connected to that extension, it will work. Same as iPod, they will work one in the same. Connectivity, we'll look at once we've connected our phone. We've got auto brightness on this unit, if you just noticed it did. I must have touched something. Uh, it did, did dim down a little bit. Uh, Bluetooth audio, reverse or front camera input, which we looked at. Let's look at the Bluetooth audio screen, so. Let's see how easy this is to connect to Bluetooth. I'd say it's going to be one of these, but it hasn't registered the name just yet. So let's go back. And go back in. That's not the one. Okay, so the unit has found the phone first. There we go. All right, pretty easy. So we've got hands-free and audio streaming. So obviously we can have four devices in total that can I think you'll have one primary, which will do both, and then the rest of them will do phone only. All right, so let's go home. So we've got, that's what the Bluetooth audio symbol looks like. Phone, so if we press phone, that's gonna bring us up our keypad, recent contacts, contacts, and obviously you can go through. Can you scroll? Obviously I'd say you can. All right, so that's one way of doing it. Doesn't look like you can scroll that way. Two finger. No, it's gonna do volume. So this is the way we'll scroll, like so. All right, we'll go back. That's gonna be playing, we'll pause that. Okay, setup, let's have a look. So sound settings. Okay, so here we have our fader and balance. So obviously we keep that in the middle. Bass and treble settings. All right, this has been played with already. Can is it flat that, perfect, so everything flat. Equalizer, all right, so you've obviously got custom, so that's what, but that will explain custom. There we go, pop, classical, rock, flat. Subwoofer, obviously you can change the level, turn the subwoofer on or off, and the phase as well you can change. All right, advanced, oh, okay, cool. So they've got their crossover settings, awesome. So front high pass filter we always want. Uh, 100 hertz, six slope, just play with that. Start at about 100, oh, start at 80 hertz, work your way up. Nah, 80 is pretty good. Depends on the music you listen to. Channel, rear, high pass filter, all right, set it. PEQ, all right, cool. So you've even got your band equalizer, it's pretty good. Time uh, setup, so you can set up time correction if you want. You've simply got to measure the space between the seat and the speaker and then set it like that in centimeters. So that would be one centimeter. All right, and then we can go back to simple settings and we've got fader, bass, treble, all that sort of stuff. So you can play with all these things and obviously just put them back to flat if you get stuck and start again. Uh, okay, volume control. So when you get a, vo uh, a phone call, you can change the volume, the caller and microphone volume you can change. What else have we got? 
uh, the sound back uh, feedback when you press any of these keys. All right, so you've got two different tones, I would say. System settings, off display on, so you can turn the display off. Uh, I'm not sure how that is done, but you can figure that out yourself. Time, dimmer, so auto dimmer like we spoke about, or you can do the play with the um, dimmer and the key illumination yourself. Language we've been through, and you can reset everything back to factory if you don't like it. Connectivity, CarPlay we want on, guidance volume, this will be Siri. Bluetooth we've connected, so pretty simple. Camera, so in camera you've got primary, which will be your reverse camera. Now obviously put the car in reverse camera image comes up. Secondary was the front camera, or you can make that a side camera input or something else, caravan or whatever else. The picture quality and signal you can adjust, and the guidelines as well, and you can obviously move those cones around and get it exactly how you like it. Uh, so that's about it for the settings. And now just looking at what we've seen already, for the price of the unit, the unit is $599 um, recommended retail here in Australia, 600 bucks, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and all of the settings we've gone through, including their equalizer. Uh, it's looking like a really good unit so far. All right, what we'll do is plug in the iPhone and have a look at Apple CarPlay. Okay, so I've just plugged my lightning connector or the USB of the lightning connector directly into the back of the unit. So we will go ahead and plug in the iPhone, hit allow, and off to the races. Okay, Apple CarPlay, here we go. Um, just so you know, as soon as the update becomes available for iOS, we will do a video on the new CarPlay, how it looks, how it works, and go through all of that stuff with you. But, all right, nice and smooth. Everything looks good. Phone. Who do you want to call? All right, so that will go through the speakers normally. It's just gone through the phone today. Um, when, the, when this is all connected, microphones in, everything will work perfectly. So obviously, who do you want to call? You can tell Siri who to call, and it's trying to use the external microphone, which isn't plugged in, obviously. Um, or you can just go through your contacts and just scroll through and give somebody a call like that. Or keypad. All right, and just go ahead and dial a number. This will bring us back home. Music, so whether you use Apple Music or Spotify, they were both here. So I used to have Apple Music, I've changed now. Whoop. So we don't want to, that home button brings us home. This home button brings us to this home. Uh, so I use Spotify now, so just go in here, recently played, All right, 2000, uh, daily mix, all right, all the stuff I like to listen to just comes up. Pretty cool. All right, home again. So you've obviously got Waze, WhatsApp, and iHeartRadio. Check this app out if you haven't already. Um, pretty much digital radio from your phone. Audible, podcasts, which I listen to a lot. This will bring you back to the Alpine screen. Now playing will bring up your most recent, which is Spotify. Oh, I keep doing that. Um... Messages, again, you don't type, you just speak, and it will turn it into text for the, um, for the other person. So there's a bunch of messages here that I need to get to. Okay, maps, same thing. So go destinations, you can scroll through. You've got all destinations, you can speak, Siri, take me to, and then say the address, or you can actually just go in and let's type, let's go to Chadston shopping center. All right. Go. Done. And now it's going to give us our ETA and all that sort of stuff as well. Get in that home and music we went through and that's about it for CarPlay. So Android Auto, same thing. I don't have an Android phone, so I can't show you guys that. Um, actually, I'll go and get one. I'm sure someone here has an Android phone. All right, guys, so we've got the Sony Xperia connected. Uh, we have had to try a couple phones, but it's not a limitation of the unit. It's just Android Auto can be a bit temperamental. Okay, so basically Android Auto looks the same. We haven't got the new update yet. Uh, there is an update coming, which we will do a review on as well. This is our little home button. 
this will show you some recent things that you've seen so obviously maps and weather phone so this will just bring up your recent calls dial a number or you can go ahead and look at call history contacts dial number here as well and missed all right taking us back this is navigation so we can search all destinations and you can just type in uh, same as this is google maps not apple maps on uh, carplay you can use google maps as well if you've got the app downloaded all right google why did i type that in i wanted chadston all right pretty pretty straightforward um okay there we go now we can go here this will bring us back all right so what's happening now is we've got not much reception inside so the unit's sort of freaking out with uh with, with not much reception so again that's recent things that we've been looking at Music, Google Play, music, podcasts, and Spotify will all come up, and this is your home to return to Alpine. All of this uh, two-finger thing works. Oh, does it? Maybe I did it this way. Okay, so perhaps it doesn't work in Android Auto. Yeah, okay, looks like it does not work in Android Auto. Alright. I think that's about it, guys. That's about it for the ILX, guys. So thank you for watching. Um, like I said, if you want to change the splash screen, we do have a video showing you how to do that. Uh, just go and look at our videos. Um, all around, really good unit, really good price. Obviously, you've seen everything work um, and how it looks. I would go ahead and get the amplifier as well if it was me purchasing the unit just to get that really good sound and play with that equalizer and make it sound exactly how you want it. Um, and that's it guys, so like, comment, subscribe helps us out and anything else you want to see, drop a comment below um, and that's it, thank you.